Alright, hey YouTube, uh, I figured I'd uh, upload a battle because I haven't done so in like a couple months, so, um, here it is. This is a battle I had like a while back with one of my good buddies, um, Judge Mathis. So, um, I'm gonna lead off with my, uh, tentacle and I'm gonna set up like a barrier, kind of bulk up and he has his battle act. So, he does an earthquake and the fact that you add in his thick web which doubles his attack, that's gonna fuck up my tentacle and I would hope I'd survive it. But he, uh, one-hit KO, so she's like, ah. This is the reason why I hate to be like, worthless. So I can generally finish up over Steve. So I'm gonna send in my Staraptor and get some Intimidate off of him, so his Earthquake does last. Um, I go for the close combat, and close combat, like, kind of tickle him in a way. So he kind of put me, just try to put me to sleep with Steve, but with his 55 accuracy, um, unless he's lucky, like, winning the lottery and puts me to sleep, then gonna work otherwise he ain't gonna do another close combat hopefully I take it out and he's gonna obviously gonna die with the PK KO. So yeah. Uh and tries to put me to sleep again. He had to fit up to sixteen. I don't know what his two moves were but I didn't want to find out either. So the next Pokemon he sends out is his delay and pretend he's gonna like him and Linder. So that kinda threw off my game and the fact that he's gonna set up semi set up in the way and goes for the T way to just cripple my speed. And now he's gonna go for the ice punch and he's like, fuck. This is where I should have went for the Indeavior, but this prediction kind of cost my Seraptor to not use his set up properly. So, um, I'm gonna go for the close combat now and just trying to soften him up a little bit. And I, um, I was gonna go for a little bit more damage with my quick attack, but Arrow has to mobilize me. So he's gonna finish me off with his ice punch, and now my Staraptor's gone, which is like, damn it. I know I could have taken out his blade, but Mr. Dick. Um, next Pokemon I send out is my Machamp, and my Machamp's one of my new favorite Pokemon. A lot of people bitch about how Salamence was too much in OU, or how people are cheap and fucking use a uh, bullet punch with scissors, so I could care less. Um, Machamp's awesome. So, um, this was supposed to be a bulk up set, but since I didn't have a bulk up team, it's a choice card set, and it's gonna take out his blade with like dynamic patch and the match. So, since I'm locked into dynamic, his next Pokemon he sends out was a strip. Of course, I had to switch out to my Venusaur. I think he stockpiled, and I don't know why he didn't turn past the stockpile to a Pokemon, but it's gonna work out for me because I'm gonna put this fucking bull into sleep with sleep powder with it. So, I know, um, since it's asleep, he's either going to stay in or switch out, and I'm going to start setting up my sunny day. Um, I was going to set up Leech Steve, but um, uh, since he switched, which is a good thing, because if I do it, i Pokemon I'm asleep, and he's going to take advantage of the sun and do work, hopefully. Um, I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to use Flamethrower. I think I'm going to switch out my Flamethrower for, like, a more powerful fire move. I think I might do Heat Wave, Fire Blast is not enough PP, especially if I go up against someone with who PP stalls the shit out of me. And uh, Flames didn't do that much, since I saw that, um, I'm gonna switch out my Entei to my Machamp, and he predicted the switch, obviously, so, well actually, I didn't know he predicted it, but I'm gonna say he did. And he was gonna recover everything that I did earlier. And uh, I'm gonna go for my Dynamic Punch, and hopefully, the I was hoping the fingers and like, come on fucker die. But he like survives with like probably 46 HP if not 50. And he resists the confusion hacks and goes for the seed bomb. And this is I'm kinda of surprised he did a little bit more than that. Um he's gonna get some left leaf recovery and uh he switched out cradily for this and get one kind of ghosts. Um that kind of sucked, uh, once again I mispredicted, I should have switched out, uh, but, oh well. I'm gonna show my Machamp to the Entei, and he's still, uh, under your asleep. I figure, why not beat the shit out of him before he wakes up, so I go for the, uh, Shadow Ball, and... I'm, like, baffled, this guy's still alive. Um, and now he's gonna... Activate his ability the unburdened ball where he like wants to be either knocked out or used up, so um and he wakes up finally and he's gonna stockpile, he's gonna start setting up for his baton pass. And I can't let that happen, so I'm gonna go for a shadow ball again and hopefully the shadow ball 
would KO it. Um, I should have went for the stone edge instead because it's probably more powerful than the initial power. And I switched out because I know um, it's going to be a lot of trouble for me and he's baton passed his stats up to his B, uh, Vaporeon. And I put it to sleep, I'm like, sweet, I feel too much of a trouble. And little to behold, he lumber, he's like, fuck. And he's gonna go for the blizzard, and my, um, Venus are gonna be an agile little salamander thing. And avoid the blizzard, and I'm gonna put this uh, Vipori on to sleep. So I, I'm gonna start setting up on it, just by trying to do each thing, but he's gonna avoid it. So, next thing I'm gonna do, obviously, he's gonna set up Sunny Day, because water. I really was not going to do that much in the fact that they'll take more damage. So I'm going to go for the Solar Beam with my Theory. Hopefully I do like more than this. So that's kind of bad. But he wakes up and he's going to take revenge and he's going to do a Blizzard. And his Blizzard's going to take out my um, Venusaur unfortunately. But If my Venusaur was still alive, this probably would have been out of her. So, this one I send out is my uh, Machamp. Obviously, I'm gonna go for the obvious T punch. Um, I could have went for the Dynamic punch, but oh, I'd rather go for Super Effective, obviously. And he's gonna set up on me with the track, and a track is gonna immobilize my Machamp because this is big point on very arousing, I guess. So he's going to go for the Shadow Ball, and Shadow Ball did quite a bit of damage to my um, the champ. And the champ actually resists the Slut's uh, attractive neck, and it's going to take her out with another key punch. Which is that sweet. So. Next Pokemon he sends out is his uh, fucking Crater Leaf again. I figured I would knock it out with. Um, Punch, but since he's fucking part grass, he's gonna miss the T punch and he's gonna now recover the damage that I've been doing to it or like all throughout this match. I'm kinda screwed now because he's gonna back to full health. So I'm gonna switch out my Machamp to my Ente and obviously he predicted the switch so he's gonna start setting up um, Swords Dance. So now he's at a plus two attack, but I'm not too worried. Yet, I'm gonna go for my flamethrower, just trying to kill him. Um, he survives the bullet. Now he's gonna pee pee a little bit, I think. But another reason why he's gonna pee pee or stall me a little bit is the fact that with Sunny Day, I resist. Like, I'm a little bit stronger with the sun. So now that the sun's gone, um, unfortunately, that rock slide's gonna do more damage to me than if the sun was out. Um, right here I started losing hope in this match because um, I figured he would uh, sweep my team, but I survived like 46 HP and I'm like, okay, I can't, I can't give up on this match just yet. I'm gonna go for a hidden power ice and it's been more than all the other moves did so far. And Cradley is going to finish off my Entei with a uh, Seed Bomb. And I started losing hope in this match because I figured that he's going to win. Uh, but I'm going to send out Amp and my Machamp's going to get himself locked into Ice Punch. And this Ice Punch is going to make this fucking plant go extinct. Finally, this little piece of shit Pokemon's on my way. Um, the next Pokemon he's going to send out is this Kingdra. And I'm going to hit. Uh, that Z course for like neutral damage, but he's pretty. And I have the which is like amazing. But this Pokemon also had a Lumberry, which is like crap. And he starts setting up his uh, Rain Dance, and this is where I like I give it because um, with Rain Dance sw Swift Swim, he's like faster than all my Pokemon. And he's gonna kill my um, Chain Waterfall. Bison Hope, and the last Pokemon is my Glaceon. And uh, when he goes for the waterfall again, I wasn't really paying attention because I, I started getting my food ready and the shit. So I was I could really lost this match. But then I saw how much damage this thing did, and it's gonna three hit KO me no matter what, probably. Unless he goes for the outrage, which kind of gave me hope. Maybe this match might be mine. 
So I'm gonna kill this bastard with his ice beam and his last Pokemon.